Hello, today I'm going to show you how to uh, sharpen an image in Photoshop using the Unsharp Mask tool as well as um, adding a luminosity filter to get rid of those halo effects that you get when you sharpen an image. So first I'm going to start with going up to I have my image open, I'm going to go up to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. That will open up a dialog box for us. I'm going to zoom into that. All right. Here is your image preview, and you see if you move your cursor over, it turns to a hand. So you can click and drag your image around to find the area you're looking for. Another way you can do it, if you go over to your image, you have a box, you can go ahead and click on anything, and there it appears in your um, display box. So, now these are the settings I commonly use for sharpening an image. Um, these are not necessarily the settings you are going to use. Um, camera manufacturers and megapixel size and a lot of things come into play, um, as well as, you know, what uh, your tolerance for sharpening is. So these are just the settings I use. It doesn't necessarily mean that you should use them, but I will explain how they work and, and that way you can find the best settings for you. And of course they vary image to image. It's not just based on what camera you use. So anyways, let's talk about the amount. The amount is exactly what um, you're probably thinking. It's almost like a volume control. The higher the amount, the more sharpening that's done. The lower the amount, the less sharpening that's done. Um, now, radius and threshold can get a little confusing, but I'll explain them. Radius is the edge lines around your subject um, when there is a contrast difference, like you'll see right here in the shoulder to the background. Um, that's where the contrast difference would happen. That's where the sharpening is going to happen with this. So the radius determines how wide that border around your subject or that sharpening edge around your subject is. Um, that will determine how thick or wide it is. Threshold specifies how far apart adjacent tonal values have to be before anything happens with the filter. So this determines what basically what the sensitivity of the sharpening is based on the contrast of your subject. So, okay, I have my settings done here. Um, it's actually 120, not 121. Um, if you click on your, click and hold down on the box there, it shows you what your image looked like before. You let go, and it'll show you what it looks like now. Another way to do that, and I'll zoom out a little bit here, is you can click preview, and it's probably hard to tell on this, but when you're ticking preview on and off on your actual image, you will see a difference there. So when you're done, go ahead and click OK. And that applies the sharpening. Now, the next step that I do, and um, it's, it's very important to kind of keep it from having a, a, that hard sharpening effect that um, digital gives you, is to go over to Edit, Fade. I'll zoom in a little bit if you're watching this on YouTube. Edit, Fade, Unsharp, Mask. When you click that, a new dialog box appears, and then under Mode, click and scroll down to Luminosity. Now you can leave that at 100% set to Luminosity. What that does is it'll remove that halo effect, but give you the um, sharp image that you just, it'll give you the same amount of sharpening that you applied without the halo effect. So, now it seems like a lot of steps to do that, um, uh, even things to remember. So what I like to do is, is create an action for that, and I'll show you quickly how to do that in action. So what I'm going to do is under actions, I'm going to choose new action, I'm going to type in sharpen and hit record. Okay, so now I go through my steps. I can go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Here's the settings that I want for this image. Click OK. Edit, fade unsharp mask. 
mode is set to luminosity then click OK and now I'm done so I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop zoom in here for you hit stop on the actions palette and there it shows my steps sharpen unsharp mask fade luminosity and what I'm gonna do if you see these little boxes see these boxes next to unsharp mask right here these are your uh, dialogue boxes now I know I always want my unsharp mask fade to be luminosity but I don't always want my unsharp mask filter to have the 120.5 and 5 settings on the um, unsharp mask settings so if I click this box here what it will do is that shows that I want the dialog box every time I use that to open so I can adjust settings so let me zoom out real quick I'm going to go to history I'm gonna reset that image and show you how this works so now under sharpen under your actions you can click play or if you double click on it you can actually set a function key now this is something I commonly use so I actually have it set uh, I'll, for this purpose I'll just go ahead and set it to F2 and click OK so every time I hit F2 it will apply this filter so I'm going to show you what this looks like F2 okay now you'll see that as soon as I hit F2 the unsharp mask dialog appeared now it shows the settings you used last which was 120.5 and 5 and of course for this image that's what I wanted to use but that allows you at this point to adjust the amount or adjust radius to match kinda of what you're looking for um, or if the image needs more sharpening than another image that allows you to change the settings I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and you'll see that under history it did the unsharp mask and then it did the fade unsharp mask now of course I didn't want to adjust the uh, setting on the fade unsharp mask so I let it just do what it needed to do and that's a way to sharpen